check out this model 3 glass being broken and there's a reason for it a really good reason so this owner she is panicking because she has a child inside her vehicle in 110 degrees or 109 degrees temperature the last few days she was basically just charging her vehicle at the supercharger and usually you close the door when you get out to plug in your vehicle but the 12 volt battery die on her not sure if there's any warning usually there is a warning a week or two before it dies sometimes just a few days uh, before it dies but maybe she didn't get the alert this time so a bystander or another tesla owner came by to break the window but he actually had to have a tool not sure if this is a older model 3 with the door panel or not but the newer tesla has door panel so what you want to teach your kids assuming they can manually open the door and also any family member elderlies or non-elderly family members that ride with you often or have a tesla on their own this is what you should teach them okay now show how you manually open it can you point at it what, what are you pulling the thingy yes that thingy will save people's life so the back doors don't have it but the front doors for the model y3 s and x can you show that lever again close the door and pull in the lever okay point at the button which button's not working yeah that if that doesn't work what do you pull this yes thing. it's called a manual lever Same. Uh -huh. Okay, pull on the manual lever. Oh, yeah. Use two hands and then pull and push. And now you can escape. Okay, bye. So teach your kids this, teach your grandparents, your passenger family member, so they can escape. For the rear doors, the newer Tesla actually have, it's probably hard to teach people this, um, but there's a lever down here, which is ridiculous. You pop this open and there's actually a yellow, finally a Tesla do um, a pulley now. Before it was like a freaking bicycle metal wire or whatever, but now you have this down here. So I'm gonna see if a child can pull this out. So why don't you come inside, close the door. Close the door. What the heck is don't say that close the door it's too bad close it all the way okay um you can test this out but make sure your window is cracked so you don't damage the trim so go ahead and open that up okay and lift that up yeah use your fingernails pop it open it's an emergency Ow. yeah it doesn't matter you're gonna burn gonna die. you're gonna burn to death if you don't open this up yep you pop it open with your fingernails and then pull on that lever mm -hmm. Pull on that yellow lever. Yeah, pull it out and then yank on it really hard. Huh? Yeah, yank on it, pull it. Pull it forward and up. Use two hands if you can't. <laughs> you hear that? Now you can open. There you go. Wow. So a seven year old can do that. Older people might no, not be able to. No, you mean seven to eight. Yeah, seven to eight, okay. Any, any younger kids might have issue pulling this. I'm gonna try and pull this myself. Stand back. Okay, can I watch? Yes. So let's see how much weight. Oh, yeah, it is pretty heavy. But sh she was pretty strong. She used two, two hands to pull it. But basically you pull it forward and up. Forward, up, or up and forward, whatever. So that's that secret. I don't know why Tesla, I mean, cost cutting, of course. But they should have put a lever here as well, too. Shame on Tesla. However, at least they have this now with the yellow tap. The original Y3, it's just a metal wire. It's really hard to pull. I didn't even know it was there. I think the older three they didn't even have it. And then the new X and S. The S do, does have it there. The X does not. The X, you actually have to remove the speaker grill. And then there's a pulley in there. So hopefully you find this helpful. Teach your kids. If you have a Tesla, teach your kids, your family member, and uh, loved ones, even passenger, um, your friends that ride with you often, teach them how to get out. If you do ride share or whatever, make sure you have um, like a placard in the back just in case um, for liability purpose. And 
at some pictures. This is a test model Y. If you're not familiar with the vehicle, there's a electronic switch on each door lever for you to be able to get out. So once you press on this switch here, that's how you unlock the doors. And that's for every single door. However, if your 12 volt battery dies or you got into an accident and you lose power to your vehicle, or worst case, you see later on in this video, a guy kick out his driver door window to get out because his cabin was caught on fire. His whole Tesla Model Y caught on fire. So stay tuned for that video following this message that I wanted to relay. And this is important and critical. You're probably thinking now that I'm gonna talk about this manual lever. Yes and no. I will talk about this manual lever that is on the front two doors. Most Tesla owner knows this, but there are two levers on the rear doors that people don't talk about. This is a Model Y and 3. They have the same location where that metal lever is. It's more of a bicycle computer lock wire that you pull on. So for the front two doors, if your power goes out, there's a lever here that you pull up to manually unlock door. So let me demonstrate. So before you demonstrate or test this out, make sure you lower the window so you don't mess up your door trim. So let's say I'm trying to get out and this switch doesn't work anymore. You pull on this lever and the door will release itself. You get a message indicating that the manual door release was used, which may cause window trim damages, okay? So let's go ahead and roll this window back up. Move to the rear doors. You would think you would have to hop to the front seats to get out in an emergency. Well, if you're in the rear passenger seat, there's no lever here. I don't know why Tesla did not include a lever here. The worst place you wanna be is back here when there's a fire in a Tesla vehicle. Climbing out may be the only solution to the front seats. However, if that is not a solution or an option, there's a lever hidden in this door. And this is really critical for those that own a Tesla vehicle or often sit inside a Tesla vehicle because somebody they know have a Tesla vehicle. If you ever get caught back here and you can't get to the front seats to get out, and you, for some reason you can't kick out the windows, the last solution is to reach down into the storage compartment. And I have a light here conveniently, so I'm gonna show you where this lever is at. First glance, you can't really see it, but if you reach towards the back here, there's a tab that you can pull on right there to lift this cover this protection cover on the lower trim off. So you just remove it like that. And you're probably wondering what this cover is for. Well, that's where the hidden lever is at. You do need some long fingernails to pry this open. And to be able to do that, you want to pull from the corner of the top side. So facing outward. If you have a flathead screwdriver, that'd be more handy, but most cases you won't. So you open this up and you reach down. This is actually the lever. You pull on this and that's how you get out. Let me demonstrate. So let's say I'm trapped back here. The door is closed. This switch is not working. There's no manual switch right here reach down here, pull up that trim, lift up this cover, and pull on this. And that's how you get out in an emergency situation. So hopefully you find this helpful. Hopefully they will save someone's life one day. Um, make sure you share this video, like it, and spread the word.